Consecutive integer problems, day two. Example five. Find four consecutive integers such that three times the third decreased by the second is the last. We'll be using our four step problem solving procedure. The first step is to give the unknown numbers a variable name. Let first integer equal x, the second integer, because they are consecutive, would be x plus 1. The third integer is x plus 2, and the fourth will be named x plus 3. Now go back to the first sentence of the problem and let's try to set up an equation. Find four consecutive integers such that 3 times the third, the third number is x plus 2, decreased by is minus the second number, which is x plus 1, and it must be inside parentheses so that the entire x plus 1 is being subtracted, is the last. So that's equals the last number, which is x plus 3. Now we have an equation to solve. We're going to start by changing the subtraction to plus negative and insert a 1. So the coefficient in front of the parentheses is a negative 1. Now we will use the distributive property. 3x plus 6 plus negative 1x plus negative 1 equals x plus 3. Now we'll combine like terms. 3x plus negative 1x is 2x. 6 plus negative 1 is 5. Is equal to x plus 3. Now we need to move the 5 to the opposite side of the equation. So we're going to add a negative 5 to both sides. 5 plus negative 5 add up to 0, giving us 2x equals x plus negative 2. Now we need to get the x over to the uh, left hand side of the equation, so we're going to add a negative x to both sides. x and negative x add up to 0, which leaves negative 2. 2x plus negative x is 1x. x equals negative 2. Now we're going to take that solution and plug it back in the top. Make the substitution for x. The first integer will be negative 2. The second integer is negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. The third integer is negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. And the fourth integer is negative 2 plus 3, which is positive 1. So the four consecutive integers that we're looking for are negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. And this is the end 